jumping right into our game of the week. It's an it's a good one. It's gonna be a good one. Starting on Friday, Isaac. What's our game of the week? Uh, Mason, our game of the week is 11th ranked Utah against 4th ranked USC on Friday night in Las Vegas for the Pac-12 championship. Yes, sir. Las Vegas, Nevada at Allegiant Stadium, home of the Raiders. Uh, this is our clear game of the week. I mean, this is really the only championship game that has some playoff implications. Maybe TCU, but USC must win or they're out. They already got one loss to Utah. Will they make it two? Or will they get revenge in this regular season rematch? This game has a big difference in professional predictions, especially the ones that we usually use. The matchup predictor, the ESPN matchup predictor, has Utah 62%. Vegas, however, has USC negative three. That's a difference. (laughs) That's one going one way and one going the other way. And I honestly, we haven't seen it do that in a long time. Like, it was early season last time we saw Vegas and the matchup predictor go, like, pretty much opposite sides of the spectrum. Obviously, Vegas still has it close. The matchup predictor, having Utah at 62, basically says that they they like Utah by a touchdown. So they they don't think it'll be that close. Uh, This is going to be a good one. I think it's going to be, I think it is going to be close. I think Utah has a good defense. Um, Obviously, their offense was very lackluster against Oregon when they actually came up against a good defense. But USC also doesn't really have that good of a defense. USC's offense is amazing. Uh, Utah's offense didn't do that well against Oregon, but they did extremely well against Buffalo, against Colorado this past weekend. But, I mean, it's Colorado. Colorado is like the Vandy of the Pac-12. So, I uh, this one, hmm, because I got to pick first on this one. As much as I hate to say it, I got to go with USC on this one, dude. I think USC, I mean, I've said it all week. After watching Caleb Williams play against Notre Dame last week, he is the obvious choice to me for the Heisman. I think he's going to do exactly what he did to Notre Dame against Utah. I think that, you know, this game is not going to be played at home. It's in a neutral site in Las Vegas. I think that that gives them an advantage. I think that they've learned a lot since that loss. And I think that, I think USC, I think the Trojans are going to pull this one out. Hey Mason, I think it, I think that's a great pick, man. I think, like you said, both teams have changed a lot in the past few weeks since they uh, since, since Utah pulled off the two point conversion to beat USC earlier in the season. I think this will be a really great game. It's interesting that the matchup predictor has Utah at sixty two percent versus USC at, at uh, favored by three points. I think this will be a really good game. I like the winner to cover the spread. Uh, and with that being said, honestly, I'm going to go with the Trojans as well in this one. I think they've learned a lot since the the loss against Utah last time out. And Caleb Williams is playing like a Heisman candidate. I really think he could lift the trophy here in a few weeks. And for that reason, I'm going with the, I'm going with SoCal. Yeah, dude, I completely agree with you. I think Caleb is going to prove himself again this weekend further as to why he should be the Heisman. Uh, Joey is picking Utah. Joey is picking Utah to win this game. Uh, I I guess it's because of the defense. I'm not really sure why. Um, but yeah, he's got Utah in this one, and we're going to be going opposite. And remember the last time that me and Isaac went opposite from Joey, it was when South Carolina beat Clemson, and we picked South Carolina. So there you have it.